this morning, Lord Jesus, for being so wonderful, for being so merciful and being so kind. Praise the Lord. Abraham found out, hallelujah, that God is a God that keep his promises. Hallelujah. What he's promised, he's able, more than able, to deliver. Come on, clap your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We're going to start the song on back if y'all want to. Just sing with me. For he is good. Yes, he is good. 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 He is good. Yes, he is good. Go give thanks unto the Lord. For he Turn me around, 
Hallelujah. We prayed for some things about this place here. Hallelujah. Yes. And we're just waiting, Lord, for the yes. perfect time. You determine the perfect time. And we're just going to thank you in advance. Hallelujah. We're praying and asking you, Lord Jesus, to continue. Hallelujah. To direct our path. Hallelujah. As we continue to acknowledge you. Hallelujah. Bow your heads with me for a moment of prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Hallelujah. Because we don't know any other that we can trust in. Hallelujah. But you are a faithful God. Hallelujah. You are a patient God. And you are a majestic God. Hallelujah. And we look to you for all things. Because you have given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of you, O oh Lord, who called us to glory and virtue. We come into this place this morning. Hallelujah. To just take a little moment out of our busy life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, to give you praise, hallelujah. We take a, a break from the hustle and bustle, hallelujah. To dedicate this day, hallelujah, as you have instructed us, to give you praise, hallelujah, for everything that you created and everything that you're going to make in our life. We're thanking you in advance, hallelujah. We're coming into this place with thanksgiving. We're coming into this place with praise, hallelujah, knowing that you're going to unloose some things in our life. Knowing that you're going to bring some things to pass. Knowing some things that you're going to, hallelujah, make me feel, hallelujah. And we're glad, and we're glad about it, hallelujah. We ask that you continue to bless these voices, hallelujah, to go through the social media, hallelujah. You said go into all the world and preach the gospel, hallelujah. And you have made it possible for our voices, our little voices to reach, hallelujah, to ends of the earth, hallelujah, through social media that you created, hallelujah. That, that you can, hallelujah, be able to still keep your promise, hallelujah. That, 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 that we go out and preach this word, hallelujah. Bring those souls, hallelujah, that you see fit to be saved, hallelujah. We know that heaven rejoices over one sinner brought to repentance and 99 just persons, hallelujah. We ask you that you today, hallelujah, let your presence be felt in this place, hallelujah. Let your presence, because we know that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And we want to be free this morning, hallelujah, to open up our mouth and give you praise. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 We give you the highest praise. And we'll be careful to always give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
Pastor Raphael Rankin. God bless you. His mother, Barbara Rankin. God bless you. And you just need, thank God for Pastor Victor Ross and Mother Victoria Ross. God bless you. What an honor to be Tim Warren today. And my mother, Mother Cynthia Ross, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Deacon, uh, praise the Lord. Marcel Williams and Deacon, uh, Sister Tangie Williams, God bless you. Thank God for Brother Carlos Abram and his lovely wife, Mother Michelle Abram. Praise the name of God. And thank God for uh, Michelle being here today. Michelle had a, hallelujah, a slight little difficulty in uh, chest pains and uncomfortable, uh, thinking that uh, it was just something she could pass. And you know how we push ourselves beyond ourselves, and hopefully the breakthrough is there. But praise the name of God, it had gotten, instead of getting better, it got worse to where they had to admit her to the hospital. And praise the name of God, they started doing tests. And after tests, they wanted to monitor her. Uh, praise the name of God. But how many know God is a healer? How many know God is a deliverer? He's a strong tower and the righteous bring that in. And the hand of God, the hand of God, hallelujah. Michelle is in church today and she don't look like what she's been through. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. Also, my uh, lovely wife, First Lady Yvonne Abram, on this morning. Thank God for the woman of God. Amen. She has to have a lot of patience dealing with me. And y'all must have been praying for her. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because, hallelujah, they dealing with me. Oh, my God. Sometimes I'm all over the place. Thank God for, hallelujah, Lady Judy Hill. God bless you in Jesus' name. Lady Mary Watts, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lady Cornell Ortiz, we are thinking about you. We honor you today. Hallelujah. Lady Paulette Brown, God bless you. I want to say praise God to you. I got to give you a call, Sister Paulette Brown. I know you're watching, so I got to go check on you. Hallelujah. Hopefully somebody done checked on Sister Paulette Brown. Amen. I've been losing weight. That's why I got to talk to you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Sister Paulette Brown is here. Then I can, hallelujah, praise the Lord, get fed around here. And thank God for her rice and the peas and all uh, her fish and all type of cuisines that she prepared. And hallelujah, they put a little weight on pastor. So I've been losing weight, praise the Lord. So I got to talk to Sister Paulette Brown. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I like to be fat and flourishing. Amen. And I want to honor all the women of God at Refuge Temple Lakeland. Give the Lord a hand praise of the men and women in the Refuge Temple Lakeland. All of the uh, elders and ministers, uh, deacons, uh, women council, ministers, deacons, wives, all of the mothers, sisterhood, all the brotherhoods. God bless you. I want to honor all of the men and women in Refuge Temple, Jacksonville. Hallelujah. Thank God for uh, you in the name of Jesus Christ and the missionary department, the women councils, ministers, and deacons, wives, guild, honor you in the mother's board. Sisterhood, all the brethren in the name of Jesus Christ, the elders and ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, bishops, praise the Lord, hallelujah, deacons and laymen, we want to honor you. And all over the world, we want to honor you, praise the name of God, hallelujah, for the contribution that you make and the value that you add to what God has connected you to. I want to say thank God, for, hallelujah, praise the Lord, the victory over the enemy in Jesus' name. We thank God so much. We have a few announcements. I want Sister Cynthia Ross Waring to prepare herself for those announcements. We have some incredible things that are taking place in the body of Christ. And what we want to do is get everyone a bridge to what God is doing in these last and evil days. We thank God for his presence. Thank him so much for last week. Praise the name of God. Uh, bring us all the way through to Communion Sunday. Somebody clap your hands for Communion. The bad first hallelujah day of October. So Cynthia Ross Ware, you will come at this time and give us instructions on what the body is asking of us.
in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Uh, our announcements are as follows. Um, October the 18th through the 22nd, we will be in Columbus, Ohio, and registration is due right now. Uh, and for more information, see Sister Judith here or Lady Yvonne Abram for more information. And um, Greater Refuge uh, and uh, doing the Global Mission, they're going to have something October the 21st. And uh, they're asking that uh, Elder Kofi Abram from Living Waters Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ Barto be there, and it's going to be at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And uh, for more information, check with Minister Dr. Anthony Owens. He's the president, and they have a phone number, 386-216-8739. And uh, it, it's a men's day program, and we want everybody to come and support uh, Pastor um, Abram at that time. And October the 28th, we have the youth program. And it's going to be Saturday here at 1 o'clock. And we're asking all of you to participate. Uh, and the rehearsal is every scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday from 5 to 5. Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, Thursday is excluded. At 5 5 to 5 30 at Simpson Park uh, by the baseball field, and for more information, get in touch with Sister um, Michelle Abram or Sister Yvonne Abram, and um, on every Monday, we have um, Bible study here, and it's at 7 p.m., and we're asking everybody to come out because we need uh, wisdom and knowledge of God, and this concludes our announcements. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give God some glory. Amen. Our announcements. We have uh, just one additional announcement. Pastor Willie Brown. Pastor Willie Brown. Uh, his pastor appreciation. Praise the name of God. And that is not in the bulletin, but we want to make sure that it's in the bulletin so that we can uh, promote the uh, 14th of October for Pastor Willie Brown. Praise the Lord. We want to Make sure that we announce that in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank God so much for it. Do all the hand praise in the name of Jesus. Thank God for all of our announcements. Govern yourselves accordingly. I just believe God's going to meet us right at the point of our need. And I am so uh, happy about what God is doing. Praise the Lord in our region. Give Lord a hand praise by our newly elected Region 10 President, uh, Bishop Kim Wool Lord, and praise for the man of God. And thank God, uh, praise the name of God, and hallelujah, we are, we are in, praise the name of God, an exciting time in the Lord. So we want to do our part, whether you are a missionary, whether you are women council, ministers, deacons, and wives, uh, whatever department that you're in, ADYPU, uh, brethren, uh, deacons, ministers, find something, hallelujah, that you can uh, add value to as relate to the ministry God has assigned you to. Praise the Lord. And God allows us to occupy, occupy until he comes. And you want to make sure that the value that you add, because that's what God going to judge. He's going to try it by fire. He's going to try it by fire. So some people don't take the work of God seriously, but we have to take it seriously. Praise the Lord. So Hallelujah. Uh, govern yourselves accordingly and do it wholeheartedly as unto the Lord. Don't do it for Pastor Kobe. Don't do it for, hallelujah, praise the Lord, uh, living waters. Do it for God. Do it for God. Whatever you do for God, that's what's going to last. And you have to be careful how we build and how we, praise the name of God, conduct uh, ourselves when it comes to the work of the Lord. So I'm looking, praise the name of God, hallelujah, in this upcoming year, praise the Lord. Uh, we know that, praise the name of God, we have a few meetings before our watch night service in December, but I want December to be 
a time to remember, praise the name of God, what God brought us through in 2023. Is that all right? Amen. Somebody clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Praise the Lord. I want to go right into the lesson, but they're telling me I got to take up an offering. They're telling me I have to take it up. So we want to prepare ourselves for an offering uh, at this time, tithe and offering. Uh, the Bible says, bring me an offering. God wants an offering. Not that God wants to take anything from you. He said if he was hungry, he wouldn't even tell you. He got cattle on a thousand hills. And if you had a goat, he wouldn't take it out of your fold. He don't need it, praise the Lord, because he owns everything, praise the name of God. But what blesses you is your faith, your faith, your faith. When your faith can connect to God, to connect with what God is doing. And when you begin to connect with God, hallelujah, praise the name of God, it requires a sacrifice. He says, bring me sacrifice. And when you bring God a, a sacrifice, he said, if you give, it's going to be given unto you. And pressed down and shaken together and running over. God don't have a problem with blessing you. But he wants to see what type of attitude you're in because he said he loves a cheerful giver. And he said that he that soweth bountifully, I love the word of God, he said shall reap also bountifully. And he which soweth sparingly, he said he shall reap also sparingly. Some folk looking up to God says, Lord, why? Why? And the Lord said, how did you, what did you bring? What offering did you bring? What offering did you bring? And he said, be it, be it unto you according to your faith. It's your faith in God. So one woman, she put in two mites. She put in two mites. And praise the Lord. The Bible say that the Lord had asked them, who do you think gave the most? Who you think gave the most? And then and they say that they one that gave the most. He said, no, that ain't how you give. I don't care about that. <laughs> he said she gave everything she had. She gave her everything. She gave her all. She gave her everything, both great and small. She gave her life to me. Hallelujah. I got to make everything new. She gave everything. How about you? Will you feel that way today? Have God given you so much that you feel that you don't want to give back to him? Well, I'm talking to the ones by way of social media as well. Has he given you so much? He's given you a beautiful house and furniture. He's given you a beautiful kitchen. Oh, with food in the cabinets and cupboards. He's given you a car to drive. He even put the top-notch gas and the high-octane gas in your car. Did he bless you? Oh, Lord, I praise you. We get quiet when it's offering time. I like this time right here. Because you don't have to jump and shout. But give according as God has given to you. If you can give $500, give it. If you can give $5, give it. If you can give five cents, be it unto you according to your faith. But one thing I want you to do, I want you to do it cheerfully, not grudgingly or of necessity. But give like God gave to you. Hallelujah. One man said he was going to, hallelujah, bless himself so until he said he was, didn't have enough bonds to carry his wheat. And he said, I'm going to build bigger bonds. He didn't say I'm going to give. He said, I'm going to build bigger bonds. So now I can eat and I can drink and I can be merry. But he didn't know that his soul was required. He didn't understand, hallelujah, that God loves givers. He says it's better to give than it is to receive. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can build all kind of areas for your money to be placed in. But the Bible call it moth and rust, doth corrupt. It's going to corrupt it. 
because it's just paper. They're going to burn it. It's going to deteriorate. But what you do for the Lord, that's what's going to last. So get your mind on how can I, hallelujah, please God. So stand with your offering today. Come on. I want Elder Rankin, if you don't mind, uh, praying for the offering. He has, hallelujah, something in that prayer that I like. And I want him to pray over the offering. Is that all right? Lord. Everybody, everybody can participate now. Amen. Can't say you didn't get a chance. Yeah, you challenged right now. Hallelujah! Yes. When you say you love a cheerful gift, some gift to be seen and to be heard. It won't come. God wants us to give from our heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! And don't be stingy. Because what you gave him, we're going to return it back to you. You might look up mine and say, oh, you didn't get enough of me. But I didn't do what is right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's why my plate was small. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So we want to give. Out of my full heart. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. God, you brought us down to the weak. Thank you. Lord, it's not so much that we have done before you while we're here today. But the reason we are here, because you love us so much. And your mercy endure forever. You're so merciful. You're so loving. You're so kind. You're so grateful to us. God, we ask you to help us. We need your help, Jesus, as we go along this road. We need your strength. Your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding to run this way. But as we stand, God, with just a little portion, what you give to us, Lord, we are giving back to you. God, help us to give it from the bottom of our heart, not to be seen of man, not to be heard, but give cheerfully. We thank you, we magnify you, we glorify your name. These are not blessed to pray not in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen as you bring the offering back in the hands of our devotional leaders. You sing the song, you sing it. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. All you have, oh, give it in Jesus' name. Give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. All you have, oh, give it in Jesus' name. If I would take the thought today, it would be the breath of God, the breath of God.
the creative act of Genesis 1 and 27. The Bible says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Everything that God creates, it starts with a word. It starts with a word. His word declare when it is gone out of his mouth, it cannot return to him empty. It cannot return to him void. When God breathes, when he speaks, he speaks those things that are not as though they were. He begins, hallelujah, creation that has a beginning and it has a end. Amen. But he himself has no beginning and he has no end. Amen. He is not constrained by time and space and continuum. He's God. He is Alpha, and he is Omega. He is the beginning, and he is the end. He is the first. How can you be all these things at one time? Well, he is God. And besides him, there's no other. So whatever God breathed, whatever he breathed, he creates, he begins to allow those things that you wouldn't necessarily see, it would come to fruition. It would be there. As if it was already there all the time. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created. He began to breathe. He began to breathe because the Bible declared that the earth was without form and it was without void. And darkness covered the face of the earth and the spirit of the Lord was right there waiting to speak, waiting to speak. God's breath was right there waiting to speak in a dark place. And the first thing that God breathed was, let there be. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, and it was. Everything that he said, let there be. Let there be. Somebody say, let there be. Light. And it shined out. And the darkness couldn't stop it. It tried to cover it, but it couldn't comprehend it. It was trying to stop it from shining, but it couldn't stop the light. Hallelujah. It couldn't stop the God that was able to call light out of darkness. It couldn't stop it, but it tried to stop it, but it couldn't comprehend it. Hallelujah. The breath of God. He began in the second chapter of Genesis, in the seventh verse, he began to take from the dust. Take from what was already chaotic. Something that was already out of control. Something that was trying to cause confusion. God isn't the author of confusion. God is the author of light. Anytime God is ready to straighten something out, he's going to breathe on it. 
His breath, hallelujah, is life. The Bible says that his breath is a spirit. His breath is the word, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He took the dust and he formed man in his likeness. He formed man in his likeness. He gave him two eyes. He gave him two ears. He gave him a nostril and a mouth. He started designing him. He started giving him, hallelujah, a design. He gave him two hands and two feet, praise the Lord. He began to form him, but the man was just standing there. Some of these stuff that people are worshiping, they not real, they just standing there. But God began to breathe in the nostrils of the man, giving man a living soul, allowing the man to come alive. Hallelujah. That's why I like, hallelujah, the church. Hallelujah, I love the church. Hallelujah, why you love the church? Because the church is what they call an ecclesia. The church is what they call, God called you out of darkness, hallelujah. He had to call you, praise the Lord. He didn't touch you, he just used his voice. He called you out of darkness, and you came into his marvelous life. He said, who am I called out of darkness into my marvelous life? I know how to justify him. I know how to glorify him. I call them. You remember Lazarus at the tomb? He had been in the grave. He had been in the grave for four days. He had been in a condition to where even his siblings were saying, the, the stink worms have already got it. They don't even smell good over here. And the Bible says that Jesus, hallelujah, he began to make a call. He began to tell you who he is. He said, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. I'm the beginning and I'm the ending. He said, Lazarus, come forth. It amazes me. It amazes me how people don't know that they have a start and they have an ending. They don't. For some reason, they don't, they don't pay attention to it. God didn't start the church in the Methodist church. He didn't start it in the Baptist church. He didn't start it in the Lutheran. He didn't start it in the Catholic. You putting these people above what Jesus said. At the name of Jesus, every knee has got the power. Come on, man of God. You set some folk up. St. Mark and St. Luke, that's not God. And you set them on this pinnacle. Jesus. When Jesus said, at the name of Jesus. Oh, at the name of Jesus. Mm, I don't care if he Muhammad. I don't care if he Buddha. I don't care if he Constantine. Every knee has. This is what Jesus breathed. He breathed. He breathed. Jesus. Jesus. It amazes me when people don't realize. Don't you know, Mr. Baptist, that you are Johnny come late? Don't you know, Mr. Lutheran and Methodist, Catholic? You know how late you are? Do you not know that on the day of Pentecost, do you not know the church started in St. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18? He said, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Because he knew I was the I am. Before Abraham was, he already knew that he was Alpha and the Omega. He already knew that he was the beginning and the end. He said, well, who do you say that I am? He said, some say 
in you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. 
let you tell me that I'm saved. I got to know from myself. I got to know that I can hear the joy bells ringing. I can hear hallelujah. My heart singing. I can start saying Jesus. 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 Thou art the Christ. You're the son of the living God. I know that flesh and blood ain't revealing. y'all not know that in the Middle East Islamic rules Christianity doesn't rule it rules here in the states but over there you know what rules Islamic so God said y'all hurry up and do what you're going to do so they were saying Jehovah they started out right and then they got political they got so political correct. You know, sometimes people can be so conservative until they forget that God doesn't work with rules. He's not subject to the rule. Because God can make a way out of no way. But your conservative thinking will say, no, you got to do it this way. And God say, I'm going to make a way out 
out of nowhere. Because I'm God. And they said, no, you got to be God. Say, I am God. So he said, I'm going to call one. Hallelujah, Jesus. Abraham was there. Yes, Jesus. And he said, I want you to leave your father's house. Leave Islamic. Yes. He said, you want me to leave Islamic? Where am I going to go? He told him to Sarah, where are we going to go? He said, I don't know. But we have to go. Yes, to whose builder and maker it's God. I thought we were already with God. Y'all ain't listening. <laughs> I thought we were already with Allah. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me today. I'm gonna preach so. Because I love the Lord. I thought we was already. He said, God is so many gods. It's infested with so much. We got so many gods. The God called me out of darkness and told me to leave my father's house. He started journeying. He started journeying uh, to a far country who really make his God. God had to show him that I need you to be rooted and grounded by your faith, not by your family. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. I need to, for you to be rooted and grounded by your faith. Look at your name say, where is your faith? Not your family. Where is your faith? Glory. The Bible says that it was accounted for Abraham because he had this, not of his family, but it was because of his faith. It was a counter unto them. The Bible says righteousness. Do y'all see it? I want y'all to see it through the spirit. So Abram, Abram and Isaac, and God blessed him with the promise. And, and, and Isaac and, and Jacob, Joseph, all of them received what God promised Abraham. Abraham. Amen. But for some reason, they got caught up. Sometimes you get caught up yeah. in what other folk do. Yeah. When God said, I called him out of this. Yeah. And now you done went back into it. Oh, I didn't call you to this. I called you. Yeah. I said that you will have life and have it more abundantly when they found themselves in bondage. So God breath had to go down there to Egypt. I'm talking about the breath of God. He had to go down there and call another man. You know God will call you. That's why you got to keep your phone on. Don't turn your phone off. God will call you. Yes. He called another man. He told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people who your people? Because that's so many. Where Pharaoh said, well, hold on. I ain't seen this. He ain't seen the first chapter. He'd catch on the tail end. Now, I told you, everything has a Start and it has an ending, but God, He don't have no beginning and He don't have no ending. Come on, come on. All of the promises were ideally promised to Israel. Your name ain't gonna no longer be called Jacob, but your name gonna be called. Israel. Watch this. The breath of God had to go down there and pop the Red Sea. Had to feed them with manna. Had to give them quail. Had to bless them. Praise the name of God that their shoes didn't even wear out. God had to take them around 40 years until he had to call another man. Yes. Oh, Jesus. God will call you. Yes, That's why I said why are you following method 
Baptist? Why are you following the Baptist? It's attracting to you. Why are you, what are you following? Are you reading your Bible? Everything has a start. And everything has an ending. Watch this. Now the Jews were in what you call Judaism. Are y'all with me? And some of y'all saying, well, when you going to talk about Christianity, I told you everything have a start and a finish. I tried to preach it to you about on the day of Pentecost. That's when it started. I tried to tell you in the 16th chapter of St. Uh, Matthew in the 18th verse, that's where it started. But you got the first take care of this Jew who had every opportunity to love the Lord God with all their heart, with all their mind, and with all they said, they had to change. Amen. And for some reason, they wouldn't do it. Yes. Nope. So God had to scatter them out. Yep. Yeah. That's how the gospel got to you. He had to scatter them out. Yeah. Over every part of the earth, he had to scatter them out. Yeah. And then you got the Gentiles. Yes. I like this. Simon declared how God would take out of him a people of the Gentile for his name's sake. He's going to call them out. Those people who are not a people, y'all should be clapping right now. For that to you. Those people that couldn't get right. They just, oh, they what? They say, woman at the whip. Where you hurt? They couldn't do right. Praise the Lord. The one that was caught in the very act of the, the one that child was sick, my daughter sick. But then she said, you, "Hold on, somebody sit home." The Gentile now is accumulating faith. Did you hear about the breath of God? See, the breath of God is the word of God. The word of God declared that faith come by hearing, and hearing by. The word of God. So when God's word goes out of his mouth, it doesn't matter if it's a Japanese, it doesn't matter if they're Indonesian or Chinese, it don't matter if they black, Haitian, Jamaican. When the word of God goes out, it can't return empty. So the Gentile, they done got cuckoo for cocoa puffs. They done lost their mind. So the Lord now, Sister Williams, he called the church. That's what I want you to see, the breath of God. His breath has always been. It don't stop. There are different organizations that have a beginning and they have an ending. And the church has an ending. First Thessalonians chapter 4. You know that the church has an ending too. She is going to be caught up in the rapture. The church has an ending. Just like everything else has a beginning and an ending. God is going to caught the church, catch the church up in the air. He said that the dead in Christ, they're going to rise first. Did y'all see the start in the beginning? The, the start and the finish? The beginning and the end? He said, we that remain, yes. we're going to be changed. Hallelujah. Listen to your call. Hallelujah. I'm getting you ready for your call. Stop peddling around in the thing that, hallelujah, that hallelujah, is causing pressure. Thank God for the pressure. Because if you can praise God in the pressure, that means you can have the press. And when you press toward the mark, then you can have the prize. If you can test God with the path, God can give you a new body. They're going to be changed in a moment. In a twinkling of an eye. They're going to be caught up to meet the Lord. Watch the way they meet him at. Watch the breath of God. They're going to meet God in the hell. They're going to meet him in a place to let God can make him a boy. And they can make their appointment here. They gonna meet God. Say, 
You know that song that was Caesar Saints? Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 that's what he's done for me. Why? They stop. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. I never shall forget. No, sir. <laughs> can can y'all see it? He'll Hallelujah. give you a, a foretaste. Thank you, He'll give you a, a foretaste you, of glory divine. He'll give you. he put it right there in your mouth. Amen. So you can taste and see that the Lord is good. He'll put it right there in your heart. So that you'll believe God. Just what he said. Trust and obey. There's no other way. I believe God. Watch this. Oh, Lord, I believe. Jesus. The, the Jew, the Gentile. You, now you're in the church age. Jesus. You're in a dispensation called grace. Thank and it's unmerited favor toward undeserving man. He don't deserve this grandeur. He doesn't deserve this majesty. But there's something about the name of Jesus. There's something about, hallelujah, calling on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. They're not going to might be saved. They say, God, I love you too much for the might. <laughs>
to eat up my flesh. Cut them off, y'all. They stubborn and fail. Go and host it and camp against me. Cut them off, y'all. Hallelujah. My heart will be covered. One day that I desire from God. They don't know how to cut now. Pastor Cooper just, you are official butcher. Anytime she needs to get an oil change, all she got to do is come to the altar. Yes, sir. Ain't know how much it costs? Nothing. Thank all she got to do is we bring sacrifice of praise yes. into the house of God. Come on, stand to your feet. We bring sacrifice. We bring sacrifice of praise yes. into the house. Thank you for watching. I want you to tune in tomorrow night for Bible study.